What's going on guys? I'm Adolid and welcome back to Crossing Souls. Last time we left off, we ended up fighting, uh, we ended up beating Cyborg, uh, freaking, what's his name? Cyborg Heartless. And we went a little further on and found out that freaking Major Oras actually wants Matt to be on his team and he wants us to stop us. Obviously, it's a ruse to, to trick him to pretty much rat, rat where I'm at out and then probably kill us both. You know, because in the end, he's wanting to kill the entire world anyways. And Spiegelman has to know that. Uh, the other scientists, they live in, they're, they're kind of living under the idea that uh, they'll be immortal, immortalized, you know. But they won't be. They'll actually be dead. So anyways, let's go ahead and just start this. And I think we're actually getting really close to the end, so we're playing to finish today. And I fucked that up. Uh, I fucked that up, majorly. Okay. Okay. And jump. Oh, really screwed that up. God, what the nuts? I'm so fucking stupid. There we go. Okay. Jump. 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 Get some heal back. Jump. Okay. How am I going to do this one? Like, really, how, how am I supposed to do this one? Oh. Is there anything over here? Okay, there's something over here, though. For sure. Okay, see, this one kind of throws me off. Like, what's supposed to be over here? Like, am I supposed to have, like, all my friends eventually, and they're going to come back around? And some of these areas are going to be able to use them? Oh, boy, I'm sweating. Get out of here, robot. I'm pissed. Ooh, thanks that. I needed that. Ah! Okay. Kind of missed the ghosts. Yeah, the ghosts are actually pretty fun. Whoa, shit. God, I suck at this. These guys are kicking my ass. I'm like super hardcore. Okay, let me try and actually get this one. Okay. Got two. God, son of a bitch. There, fine. Jesus. Monkey, monkey donkey. Which I'm pretty sure is a reference to Donkey Kong. Okay, whoa. No, 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 I don't want to be stuck. I actually would not mind a, like, a healing thing. Because in the last, fighting Cyborg freaking uh, Heartless really kicked my ass. And as you see, I'm almost dead now. Oh, shit. Oh, oh I should have jumped. Now we're down to... Okay, I can't... Shit. I keep saying, I can't let that stuff hit me too much. But that those things have been hitting me pretty... Consecu oh, can I... Oh, it actually works for me. Boop. And jump. Okay. Jump. Heal up. Oh, God. Son of a bitch. I let it hit me. Shit. And go. Oh, shit. Oh, God. It only takes a half a thing of life, but I need to save up all. Thank God. For the first time in this game, I actually desperately need that stuff. Ah, shit. Serpentine. Serpentine. Oh, for once, I got the upper hand. Ah, oh, that's gonna suck. What's going on this way? Oh, nothing. I can't go that way. Okay, that's okay. So, how am I gonna do this? Because that's gonna hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. No jumping. Just slow, deliberate movements. Ooh, ow, son of a bitch. Not too slow. Okay, well that worked. Rest, 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 and move, 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 move. Okay, this one I could jump. Because I'm move it's kinda like a long Ugh. Okay, and go. Oh shit, that was close. Ugh. That's right. Oh, get away from me. You don't know what I've been through. Been through quite a bit. Ah oh, shit, toaster guy. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I think I actually just take out the toasters first. Oh, crap. Crap. 
I wanted to take out the toasters first, but... Ooh, hurt! Um, you. Ow. Crap. 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 I can't judge. Okay, got one. I can't judge what it's actually gonna throw it at. See? It, like... For a toaster, it looks like it'll throw it somewhere else. Not my face. Like it'll throw it above me or something. Okay. So I'm going off two hearts and two sugar candies. Okay. Okay, well this is going to be interesting. Where do I go first? Okay. Ugh. Okay, it doesn't look like there's a... Okay, good. I thought there might have been like a freaking... Um, another searchlight thing. The searchlights are the one that's actually kicking my butt. That's what's kicking my butt. Yay! I only got three. Oh. Are these the townspeople? The Duot Stone is being... Pa That's what they said they needed it for. They're using their life energy to power the Duot. Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> What the? I knew Major O'Russ was lying. Why you be lying? Dad, Mom, come on. Can you hear me? Can you? Dang, there's Charlie's dad. Damn, O'Russ. He has you all wired. He's using your vital energy to power the duot. Bet you if I look in here, I'll see all the everybody. I'll get you out of here. I'll get you out of there. I promise. Hopefully in time. Because there's Charlie's dad. Dang, and it's going to be sad to f if I... F and there's Russell. Man, that's effed up. And that they were sitting there all saying, too. Dad, Mom, hold on. I'll find a way to get you out of there. They said they're being used. They're working. They're working all right. To death. I'm glad they're actually filling up my stuff. I definitely need more bombs, though. Man, that's sad. Because that killed Kevin really quick, too. So I'd imagine that it's killing like a lot of those townspeople. Man, this game is kind of sad. This place is cool. Ooh, really cool. Ah, oh, shit. Matt, you're okay. Thank God. Who is that? Chris, we have to stop fighting it. What we're doing is pointless. How can you say that, Matt? We've come this far. We have to stop the Major. That's just it, Chris. We, we were wrong. I know it sounds hard to believe, but what the Major is doing is mixing our world with the spirit dead. Okay, Matt. Didn't you hear Osiris saying that even Set is using Major Oras as a puppet? So even if Major Oras was mixing our worlds with the spirit dead, then Set would actually overturn him. So I mean, why is he trying to even believe what they're saying? Uh, Major is doing it, is mixing our world with spirit dead, so that is so they coexist with one another. It won't happen that way, Matt. You know that. Imagine being able to converse with the great scientists of history. Work with them side by side. Humanity would advance by leaps and bounds. Honestly, I believe it's Matt. Just like wanting to try to find an answer to this, like, a, like, a, like why is it kind of happening type of thing. You know, he's just kind of free. I think he's having like a breakdown, a mental breakdown. He's not really believing what's going on. You know. They've brainwashed you, Matt. I can't believe what you're saying. It's true, Chris. Also, our families are already working with them. They told me that if I convinced you, they would take us with them. That's a lie, Matt. I just saw them. This scumbag is using the feed the Duat. He's using our families as a battery so he can open the portal between the two worlds. What? That can't be true. Ah, shit. 
Okay, we're done here. I don't have time for this nonsense. See, this is the Orus that I know. Get the boy. If he doesn't want to cooperate, we'll force him. As for you, you've seen too much. I can't let you out of here alive. No, wait. No more politeness. Oh, crap. Nice. Crap, bombers. Oh, I could dodge! I forgot I could dodge this entire time. Oh, they're kicking my ass. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna die. <clears throat> yep, and that was the game over. I have to actually fight through them. I thought for a moment that maybe it wasn't like a fight like that. It's actually something different, but... No, you actually have to... I have to fight a way through them. But at least I remember to dodge at the very... Like, pretty much at the very end of the game. I suck at this. Uh, this is actually... Oh, I did it! Finally! God! I don't know why I kept thinking I wasn't going to make it. Ah, darn brats! I actually didn't use too many healing stuff. Oh, am I going to have to fight him too? Oh! Oh, Major Oras. Okay, I need to figure out what he does. Okay. Yo, what the nuts? This is going to be tough. This is going to be a tough fight. Buckle in, people. This is going to take a while. What I need to do is heal up. Kill these little guys that I can. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. How did that hit me? Okay, so I got these guys. Okay, see, what I don't like about some of these guys is that they, they, they really go after you. There's like not a really good way of shit. Okay, got rid of one, so he's gonna be somewhat decent. Okay. God, you're kind of a pain in the ass, poor guy. There we go, Jesus. Alright, I'm getting through them a little easier. I've got... I wonder if I can just lay out bombs. This guy really hits hard. Okay, so let's see what he does. Okay. God, he hits hard. Come on. Okay, heal, heal, heal. No, no. Oh, I can hit those back. Okay, why do you have such cool attacks? Okay, you have really cool attacks. 
really cool attacks. Okay, but I need to listen. God, I suck. I suck so hard. God, suck so hard. Okay, and there's some other things over here. Okay? God, suck hard. Dang. I am so bad at this. Okay, you're gonna go there, and over here, and back at me again. Okay, this is gonna be a long fight. God, a really long fight. Okay, he's gonna do his moves. Shit! 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 Oh, that was close. Okay, I need to go over here and get these health ups. Why can't I grab that one? Ow, cheese. Oh, cheese. Oh, God. Oh, that actually hit him. And... Shit. Actually, I'm actually doing pretty good. Kind of. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh, that was three. Okay, and... Fuck. Ah, oh, God, it was so close. Let's see if I can actually get to his right dodging moment. Which he's gonna go here, then go. Shit. Fuck. Okay, I can hit him at least once. God. Okay, that means I need to heal. And. Nope. Fucked it up. Fucked it up. Locked it up. He's gonna heal again. Nope. God, okay. Okay. still be good. And go. Shit. 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 Ah, almost barely got out of that. Ah, come on. Okay, I need to go up here and get these Healy dudes. Crap, 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 crap. No. 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 Okay. Down below half. Ooh, nice. Nice. I missed all of those. I 
I'm getting some of them. Ooh. Right between and... And... Shit. Fuck that super up. So now I'm playing the super cautious game. Damn. Oh! Knocked him down. Please don't, this is not a phased fight. Dude, I wish I could warp. This is what happens to those who dare challenge me. Uh oh. <gasps> I knew it! He killed Matt! I have your family, your friends, everything. All that's left is to finish the girl off. You think you can take me before she dies? Charlie! Pay close attention. You're going to witness the birth of a new god. Oh, Russ, let your death serve as an example for those who dare... What? Oh, let your dare... He's saying that to him. Uh, for those who dare oppose my reign. Oh, shit. Oh, he's doing some Super Saiyan stuff. And he killed Matt! Oh, what the hell? Okay. Supreme Oros. I don't know what he's gonna do. Holy shit! Okay. Okay, so he's doing stuff like that now. Oh, that damages him. Okay, let's do that then. We can do that. Ah, come on! No, no, no. Okay, let's stay there. Shit. Okay, that's... Okay, I'm moving again too too fast, too soon. Oh, one last one. Nice. Oh, man, you got screwed up, Oris. I need a save point. <laughs> I don't want to fight him. Go to hell. No, but Matt, I called it, but Matt. Cough, Chris, cough, Chris, I I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't want to. Shut up. Breathe. Calm down. You'll be fine. Just tell me later, Chris. We're friends, Matt. Best friends. Matt. Together. Always. Matt? We have to finish this for him, for Big Joe, for Kevin, for the whole damn world. Chris, the Major has begun his invasion. Listen, Charlie, we have to destroy this military complex to save the world. But how? I think I know how, but I need your help. Yeah, anything. You have to get everyone out. I'll see you out, okay, Chris? Promise you won't be long, and that we'll get out of this together. We'll get out of this together. I'll be by your side always. Oh no. The Ansante Cross. It's a Ansante Cross is the most desired gift by the ancient Egyptian gods as it possesses infinite answers to historic mysteries. Esoter esoteric, I think it was. Esoteric. So here we are. We beat Major Oras. Poor Matt. Kind of ate it in the end. But now it's just me. I mean, hopefully Char Charlie can get everyone out in time. But it sounds like we're doing a, a good old-fashioned suicide run. There's something in here. Oh, we're going to open up this, this portal to the other side.
I wanted to make sure I saved again because it would really suck out to fight that again. On. On. Uh oh. What's this? Drop. Oh, it's the things. It's the things that I needed from like fighting all the bosses and such. It's kind of weird that it's like going on like you have like when you're trying to fix a tire, but it's okay. I just made your over this thing. Oh, come on, really? It's kind of a weird way to open a door. I think I've seen weirder though. Yeah, we're we're planning on going to the freaking set, dude. What's this button do? Okay, it's not gonna do anything. I thought for a second there that maybe there'll be like two options. You can go to set, or you can go to freaking uh, you can blow everything up. Which I would just blow everything up. That would be my thing. Warning: insufficient human batteries. Would you like to use your vital energy for tap teleportation? No. Oh, might as well. There comes a time when everyone encounters the duot. Returning to the beginning, there's only one way to fix this. Oh, he used his, like, his entire... Oh, jeez, I didn't think, I thought it would have just drawn out a little bit, but it took... He pretty much killed himself. Oh, shit. For the greater good, Chris's heart, the human heart, the humble motor of life, the heart is the most ancient treasure civilization has ever known. Its true power, however, has yet to be discovered. Damn. That's sad. But at least he gets to be with his brother. If you think about it. What's up, dude? We will not forget your integrity or your love for your brother. That is pretty in... Dang. Your axe freed many wandering souls from the yoke of an evil spirit. kind of speechless right now because this game is actually pretty good. Many have paid the price for your foolishness. You've always helped others even when not incumbent on you to do so. But even if he doesn't come back alive in the end, he yeah, it's right. He gets to be with his brother now, at least. One last good act does not redeem an idle life. Oof, that one sounded really deep. That sounds like another dragon. Your courage has opened a door that only few have opened, one that has been closed for centuries. The strength of your spirit has conquered the soul of many who followed your cause. The death of your loved ones weighs on your conscience. Yeah? It would, because, you know, he kind of led them to death as the, all the biggest problem with being a leader sometimes. Even in death, those whom you love continue to follow you. There's a lot of these guys. Redemption is the only way. Your sacrifice is profound. They're, 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 they're praising me, Ari, and this is a really long path again. This is like the bridge. Dang, we're all the way up to set. What's up, man? 
and your scary ass alligator dogs, alligator tigers, or I think more like alligator lions. What do we have here? What the? What did you expect him to be? Ah, well, well, well. Welcome to my kingdom, human. You, you must be set. I've come to end this madness. Pause for a moment. So if Major Oras got there without using his life, did that mean that he sacrificed somebody else to get there? I think that's what happened. He ended up sacrificing somebody else to get there, and that's what... Yeah, I think that's what happened. Never mind. So unpause. You must be set. I've come to end this madness. The arrogance of your kind never ceases to amaze me. Did you honestly think you could come here and stop me? Yes, I've come to stop your evil plan. Oh boy. Oh, and how do you plan to do that? Have you talked to my brother Osiris? I'm calling him Osiris now. A dreamer, I see. Osiris is wrong. There's no chosen one for this task. There's not a heart in the entire universe pure enough to extinguish the flames of my final judgment. I will pierce the veil that separates my world from yours and govern all realities of the universe. There is nothing and no one capable of stopping me. Everything we've been through... No, I refuse to give up now. Hmm. You've defeated the Major, but make no mistake, he did not belong to the world of the gods. Now his soul is mine. I'll finish you too, just like him. <laughs> <clears throat> Your innocence amused me, but I think there is something you have not noticed. You are already dead. You sacrificed yourself to reach me. Now your soul and your existence belong to me, like all those other hu b beings in this world. You are mine. No, that can't be. Heh, I propose a deal. Place your heart on the scale of souls. If your heart is truly pure, I will let you go. But you will have to—you have to see with your own eyes how I devour the world as you know it. If, however, your heart is not as pure as my brother Osiris believes it to be, you will suffer the most horrible atrocities for all eternity. You can't do that. Of course I can. I am not my brother the Benevolent. That's not fair, whatever the outcome. Whatever you do, you're, you're, whatever you do, your willing is nothing compared to, to that of a god. The die is cast. I set will prove there is no pure heart and no soul who can contend with me there, thereby executing Chris, the one chosen by Osiris to restore order to the eternal cycle. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, you're a judge. What's up, Demon Dog? Can I talk to you a second? No? No? Okay. Guess it's just me and you, uh, judge. I haven't come this far to give up now, Set. Ooh. There goes my heart. Please take good care of that. I kind of need it. Is that good? I can't tell which is good or bad. It looks like they're fighting. Did I make bad choices in this game? Oh, he's pissed. No, it cannot be possible. What's happening? Profile added, by the way. Oh, everything's gonna... Oh, they attacked them! The alligator dogs! That's why I keep alligator lions. I keep calling them alligator dogs, but they're obviously alligator lions. Ooh, he's back! There comes a time when everyone encounters a duat, returning to the beginning, because in a way we belong to it. But there are few but there are few before whom the duat bows those who place benevolence and the perseverance of balance before everything else. The game's over.
it's gonna it better not end with just just like that there's not gonna be like an after story of what happened just those people are dead and you don't even know what happened to Charlie and Chris or Charlie and the, the, the whole family there has to be something Wow gosh grandma that was a good story and did Chris really defeat that monster Sean don't be silly Sean it's just a story how could a kid defeat an evil god grandma I bet you that's Charlie well I guess that's something we'll never know boo come on grandma well the truth is we'll never know what's on the other side until the time comes that's why it's important to spend every minute of this precious gift called life with the ones we love enjoy life laugh love and never ever reach the end of the road regretting something you didn't do so did Chris ever regret anything I don't know but what happened to Charlie she hasn't been heard of since okay maybe there's not is she Charlie I mean who could this lady be then oh a mystery so what's the moral of the story grandma well there isn't a moral Sean this story is like life itself no matter what decision you make whatever you choose choose a life and live it so then how do we know we're choosing well you'll know because you'll find happiness in small things you'll feel that your efforts small as they seem make the world a better place and a day will come when you'll feel full and at peace with every decision you've made the good and the bad and you'll be ready for the journey journey what journey the journey home silly Come on, your mom will be here soon. Boo, already? The day's gone by too fast, Grandma. Come on. You have all the safe you'll all have a safe journey back and remember what I told you. Yes, together. Always. That's right, Kelly. Take care of your little brother. I will, Grandma. Always. What is that? Oh, I think that's supposed to be a fire. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. Bye, kids. Love you. Tell us another story, Grandma. So we're an old lady now. Obviously more in the future. This place looks all futuristic. A little bit like the walls and stuff. Observe. My kids have given me so many grandchildren that we hardly fit in the photograph and the photograph uh, photography studio thank you thank you letters they never stopped coming there's a lot of stuff what is this definitely some futuristic stuff going on here what's going on downstairs Memories of my travels to Ghana with the NGO. It, I, it was there I lived one of the most enlightening periods of my life. What is all this? It's a lot of boxes. Does she have the Duat Stone? I think she does have the Duat Stone. Oh, there's Matt's classes. I nev never met anyone like him. He was always there when I needed him. I look like a picture of Big Joe. I was always fascinated by his way of seeing things. Nothing could stop him. Best friends. How much I miss that little girl. So this is not Charlie, obviously. I think she's trying to find her. For years I've collected every news source I could find about the little heroes of Tajunga. I wonder if there's anything down here. She's definitely got some of the pink vials. I think I'm too old to read my own handwriting. It's been so long 
since I wrote this. I think it is Charlie. I think I honestly do. <sighs> oh. Here it is. My great secret. The time has come after years of research and investigation. It'll work this time. I know it. Please place your index fingers on the fingerprint scanner. Security system unlocked. Okay, now the sequence. Sequence correct. Entering connection values. Oh my god, it worked. It worked! Value set. The connection will begin in a few moments. Take a seat. Well, I guess it's time to start over. I've tried to lead a decent life. A happy life. It's time to go back to the girl I was. See you soon. into a ghost. Oh, I can't, I can't go that way. I have to go up. It is Charlie. Oh, she just... She did live a happy life. And the game is ending in a way I didn't think it would actually end. I thought that it would actually be more of like, uh, again, I was going back with the whole like 1980 theme where everything ends up like extremely happy. Everybody's Got, got what they want, you know, but in the end it wasn't really like that, in the end, uh, where do I go, in the end it was more like everybody, everybody died but poor Charlie, you know, because everybody sacrificed themselves in some sort of way, or not sacrificed themselves, but they died on the journey to include Chris. Hey, look! Charlie? Chris? Together. Always? Yes, together always. Crossing Soul. Holy crap! This is a really good game. I'm gonna go ahead and just wait till the credits are done, just in case, like always, make sure there's not any extra additional scenes or something like that, and then give my final uh, voice about the game. Okay, so that's it of the game. There wasn't any. There was a special thanks that the the developers gave at the end there. But man, this is actually again a really good game for a platformer. I mean, like. If you think about it in the in the, the the concept of like the actual gaming aspect, a, a lot of it was kind of simple. Um, like it wasn't like Hollow Knight level of platforming, right? But where this game really comes through for me is actually in telling of the story, because it's like a like when I first looked at it, it's kind of like this uh, '80s themed referencing movie that or like game that's going to be putting a whole bunch of movie references in there uh, like a big nostalgia feel to it you know and then it, it did yes it did that there was a lot of like references and a lot of nostalgia in this game that really hit it off but it was more than that too because it had because one thing that made stand by me stand apart was that even though it was a story about these kids you know is that it was an amazing story you know it was it was just a really good story and that's what made it good it was a good i mean there's obviously you can go really deeper than just it was just a good story but it wasn't just like um an average kid's story it was a story that adults could get into and understand it was almost relatable and crossing souls almost did that with this story i mean granted it, you can't say it's relatable because it has freaking dragons uh egyptian gods it has freaking uh pyramids, power, future technology stuff, 
you know, evil, evil, like Cobra type corporations. It's not relatable in that sense, but it's relatable in the idea of what the 80s kind of was, you know, besides the Egyptian gods thing. A lot of those nostalgia goes into that, that 80s feel, you know, and it brought it out in kind of a really moving way because you're, yeah, you had all that craziness, but you had the story about these kids just trying to have fun and then just trying to do simple things, the things you can relate to in a sense, because if you ever lost somebody, what wouldn't you give to be able to see that person again? You know, and then what would you give also, what would you do to be able to, if you needed to, to save your family, you know? And then in a situation like they went through and it kept going on and when they kept losing people, they kept driving them forward. It was such a good story in my opinion. And that's where this game really just sells it for me. And if I have completely lost y'all, I apologize. It's just that this game is, I, I really love the game. I, I love it more than I, I thought I would, you know? And so, yeah, so we'll go there with the game. Yeah. The game mechanics kind of simplistic, you know, really it came down to me liking Charlie and Chris the best when I'm using them. You know, Matt kind of fell back because he was weak and only used them when I actually needed them. Big Joe was a little too slow, even though he hit really hard. And poor Kevin, he was really just there in the beginning of the game just to be used. But then when you got to the, the actual story of it, when they started having their dialogue, it was it was deep. It was good to me. I loved it, you know. And then there was other bits too. I love the scenery in the game. Yeah, it had that like uh, almost pix it had the pixelated look. But a lot of these games are doing amazing thing with pixelated looks. You can get so much depth and you know emotion nowadays from this pixels. You know, just of what they're doing. And that I think it's pretty cool. And the music, I love the the sound of it. It was pretty good, you know. And so honestly, to suggest if you want to play this game, go play it. I mean, every game I've played so far has been, hey, go play this game kind of thing. But I also, I, I, I'm i kind of picky with the games I pick. But I, I honestly suggest it, you know, or just watch it from the very beginning all the way to the very end of this this series. Because I actually might watch it again and watch it just to experience it because it was very emotional, especially towards the end. Which was another thing to me was it was a twist ending. I thought, I kept thinking that it was going to go back to where it was going to somehow from his sacrifice that he would be able to restart things, you know, cause they said a lot of, they kept saying you have to go back to the beginning, you know, and that maybe in that way he would be able to stop it. Yeah. Maybe he, in the end, he'll still sacrifice himself, but he would have been able to stop from the beginning, leaving all his friends alive. But in the actual end, what it was, was just that Charlie was the only one that lived and she lived a happy life and perfected the duot in order to be with her friends. And that was just a really, really cool ending anyways guys that's the end of crossing souls i hope y'all enjoyed it i don't know what game's going to replace this one and i gotta actually look it up because i'm actually finishing games really fast in my opinion so i gotta figure out what game i'm gonna play next if you have a suggestion just leave it in the comments below and i will look into it and see which one it is so i hope y'all enjoy this episode and i will see you all next time